The following is the lecture on Sri Vyasa Puja, given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada recorded on 2nd September 1972 in New Vrindavan. Ladies and gentlemen, this ceremony of course, those who are my students, they know what is this ceremony. Those who are uh, visitors, for their information, I may inform you something about this ceremony. Otherwise, uh, it may not be misunderstood. <clears throat> uh, outside I may see it that why a person is being worshipped uh, like God. There may be some doubt. So this is the etiquette. This ceremony is called Bhyas Bhyas Puja. Bhyas. Bhyas means the original author of Vedic literature. He is incarnation of Narayan. He gave us all Vedic knowledge. He received the knowledge from Narada. Narada received the knowledge from Brahma. Brahma received the knowledge from Krishna. So, in this way, by disciplic succession, we get uh, transcendental knowledge. Uh, <clears throat> so, Bhaz Dev formerly, uh, before Bhaz Dev, See, 5,000 years ago, before that time, there was no need of uh, written literature. People were so sad in their memory that whatever they would hear from the spiritual master, they would remember for life. The memory was so sad. But in this age, it is called Kalijo, uh, we are reducing our bodily strength, our memory, power of memorizing, our feelings of sympathy for others, compassion, age, duration of life, uh, uh, religious propensities in this way, in this age, we are reducing everything. Uh, Every one of you can uh, understand very easily. Formally, if somebody is attacked by another man, many person will come to help him why this man is attacked. But at the present moment, if one man is attacked, the passers-by will not care for it because they have lost their sympathy or mercifulness for others. Our neighbor may starve, but we don't care for it. But Formerly, the sympathy for other living entities, even for an ant, just like Maharaj Parikhet, while he was touring on his kingdom, he saw that one man was trying to kill a cow. Parikhet Maharaj saw 
immediately he took his sword, the who are you? You are killing a cow in my kingdom. Uh, because the king is supposed, or the government is supposed to give everyone protection. Not that the government is meant for giving protection to the human being, not to the animals. Uh, because it is Kaliju, the government discriminates between two nationals. National means one who has taken birth in the land, that is called national. That is, you know everyone. So, the trees, they are also born in the land. The aquatics also born in the land. The flies, the reptiles, the snakes, the birds, the bees, human beings, everyone is born in that land. Suppose your land, America, United States. Why the government should give? protection to one class of living entities, rejecting others. This means they have lost their sympathy for others. This is Kaliju. Formerly, before Kaliju, unnecessarily, even an ant would not be killed. Even an ant. <coughs> there are many instances uh, that a hunter who has taken advantage of killing animals, but when he became a devotee, he was not prepared to kill even an ant. So the Krishna consciousness movement is so nice that it makes a person perfect in everything. Uh, perfect in knowledge, perfect in strength, perfect in age, everything. We need so many things. So, this perfection of life, the process, how to make life perfect, is coming down from Krishna. Krishna is the origin of everything, therefore the knowledge of perfection is also coming from Him. And uh, periodically, periodically means after millions and millions of years, Krishna comes. He comes once in a day of Brahma. So, Brahma's days, even uh, one day, the span of one day, it is very difficult to calculate. Sahasya Juga Pajantam Marahajat Brahman Vidu. The Brahma's one day means uh, about 433 millions of years. So in each day of Brahma, Krishna comes, uh, once in a day. That means after a period of 433 millions of years, he comes. Uh, why? To give perfect knowledge of life. How a human being should live to make his life perfect. So, the Bhagavad Gita is there, spoken by Krishna, in this millennium, in this day. Now, in Brahma's Monday, we are uh, passing through the 28th million. Uh, no, for 28th, in Brahma's day, there are 71 monus. Uh, and one mono leaps for that is also many millions of years, uh, seventy-two many. So we are not interested now about calculation, the perfect knowledge. This perfect knowledge comes 
from God or Krishna and it is distributed uh, by parampara system, by disciplic succession. The example is just there a mango tree. On the top of the mango tree there is a very uh, ripened fruit and that fruit has to be tested. So if I drop the fruit from up, it will be lost. Therefore, it is handed over after one, after one, after one, then it comes down. So all Vedic process of knowledge is taken from the authority. Uh, and it comes down through disciplic succession. Just like I have already explained, Krishna gives the knowledge, perfect knowledge, to Brahma, and Brahma gives the knowledge to Narada. Narada gives the knowledge to Bhyas. Bhyas gives the knowledge to Madhyacharya. Madhyacharya gives the knowledge to his disciplic succession. Uh, later on to Madhavendra Puri. Madhavendra Puri gives that knowledge to Ishwar Puri. Ishwar Puri gives that knowledge to uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Chaitanya. He delivers that knowledge to his immediate disciples, six Goswamis. The six Goswamis delivers the knowledge to Srinivas Acharya, Jiva Goswami, then Kaviraj Goswami, then Vishwanath Chakravarti, then Jagannath Das Bhavaji, then Bhaktivinath Thakur, then Gaur Krishnath Das Bhavaji Maharaj, then my spiritual master Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, then we are distributing the same knowledge. Uh, we don't manufacture knowledge. Uh, because how we can manufacture? Perfect knowledge means I must be perfect. But I am not perfect. Uh, every one of us, when I am speaking, uh, because we are not perfect, because in our condition and life we have got four defects. The first defect is that we commit mistake. Any one of us who are sitting here, nobody can say that he has not committed any mistake in life. No, that is natural. To err is human. In our country, even a personality like Mahatma Gandhi, he committed so many mistakes. So to commit mistake is not unusual. It is usual for any man. Then again, <clears throat> what is illusion? Illusion means accepting something for something. Just like every one of us, we accept this body as ourself. But actually we are not. Everyone. On this bodily concept of life, the whole trouble is there in the world. I am thinking Indian, you are thinking American, he is thinking dog, he is thinking cat. Because on this bodily concept of life. So this is illusion. Because I am not this body, you are not this body. Because at the time of death we can understand. The body is there, but my relative he is crying, oh, my son is gone, my father is gone. Where is gone? Your, the body is there. Where is your father gone? No. Then we can, after death, we can understand that my father or my son was not this body. He was something else. But this is called illusion. So mistake, illusion, and cheating. Everyone wants to cheat others. This is the dealing. Suppose we are businessmen making some agreement. So I am trying to make the agreement in my favor. You are trying to make the agreement in your favor. I am thinking, I have cheated. 
this person. I am so clever. You see. So this cheating propensity is there. Uh, uh, even we hide something. Even the husband and wife, we cheat one another. What to speak of? Man. Even as sometimes father and son. Uh, what to speak of other relation? The cheating propensity. That first that we commit mistake. We are illusion. We cheat. And at the end, all our senses are imperfect. Just like we are very much proud of seeing. Everyone says, can you show me? I want to see. You know, what you can see? What is the power of seeing? Uh, if it's at night, if there is no sunshine, you cannot see. So what is the use of your seeing? Uh, if there is a wall, you cannot see what is beyond the wall. You are seeing every day. The sun, but this we are seeing just like a small disk. But actually, it is fourteen hundred thousand times bigger than this earth. Uh, similarly, we cannot see, which is situated very long distance. We cannot see even the eyelid, which is actually uh, with the eyes, but we cannot see. In this way, if you study every one of your senses, you will find imperfect. So your senses are imperfect. Uh, you are cheating. You are illusion. And you commit mistake. How you can give perfect knowledge? Oh. Therefore, you don't accept any knowledge from an imperfect personality. That is because that is imperfect knowledge. What is the use of that knowledge? Theorizing. No theory. We want to know fact. That is perfect knowledge. So that perfect knowledge can come from God. And one who distributes that knowledge exactly as, as God has said, he is perfect. Uh, just like uh, a post peon comes and delivers you, say, $100. So he is not delivering that $100. Your friend has sent you $100 and his business is to hand over that $100 as it is without any change, without taking $1 from it. No. Or adding. No addition, no subtraction. His honesty, his perfection is that he delivers you that hundred dollars which is sent by your friend. That is his honest perfection. He may be imperfect in so many other ways, but when he does his business perfectly, he is perfect. Similarly, our this Bas Puja means we receive perfect knowledge from Krishna uh, through the agency of spiritual master. <coughs> so, this Bhas Puja means one day in a year on the birthday of the spiritual master, because he is the presentative of Bhas, he is delivering the same knowledge which has come down by disciplic succession without any chain, he is offered the respect. This is called bashful. And the spiritual master receives all honor, all contribution on behalf of the Supreme Personality of God, not for his person. Just like in our country, when there was British rule, there was a viceroy and a king's representative. So naturally, when Bhasra used to go to some meeting, many people used to present valuable jewels, valuable, because just to honor him. 
But the law was that not a single of the jewels of contribution the viceroy could touch. It was going to the royal treasury. The viceroy could accept on behalf of the king all contribution, but it goes to the king. Similarly, this day, Vaisvusha day, whatever honor, contribution, and feelings is being offered to the spiritual master, it is, uh, again, as we have received the knowledge from upwards, similarly, this respect also goes from downward to the upward. This is the first. So, as a spiritual master is teacher of the student, he has to teach the disciple how to uh, send back his respect and contribution to God. Uh, this is called Vaspudan. Uh, so, spiritual master is respected as good as God. Uh, why? Sakshadharitena samastha shastrai. They have already chanted the song. Samastha shastrai in all Vedic literature. Samastha, all. Samastha means all. Shastra means Vedic literature. They, all the shastras in Vedic literature, they have declared that Spiritual master is as good as God. Not God, but as good as God. Uh, the Mahavadi, they think that the spiritual master is also God. No. We wish now. We don't accept that theory. Uh, but actually how a man can become God? No. But because he is God's representative, he is honored as God. Not that he has become God. Kintu prabhuja priya evatas. Just like you have got his dear son. If somebody pats your son, even pats your dog, you become pleased. So the spiritual master has is very confidential servant, dog of God. Therefore, if you can please him, just sab prasada, the Bhagavad prasada. If you can please the spiritual master, then God is pleased. Just like your small child. If somebody pleases the child, you become automatically pleased. You can please that child with a two cent worth lozenges. But to please you, it may require thousands of dollars. So you can finish the business by offering a lozenges. So this is the position of spiritual master. Uh, don't misunderstand that this person is sitting very comfortably and taking all honors and contributions. It is needed just to tease them how to respect the representative of God. This is the summer substance of Bhaspuja. Thank you.